This week we are doing something that I've never done before. We are going to rehab a piece of furniture that I found on the side of the road. The top seems like it's actual wood. The drawers all seem like it's actual wood. Primarily the way the inside of the drawers look. I mean, they just have features of just an older build. So my need is an entry table next to my front door to put all my keys and mail and other bits and bobs. The only problem is the space that I have is 30 inches wide and this is 36 inches wide. So I need to find a way to cut six inches off and to move all of the desk legs in. I really like the patina that's on the desk, the wear marks through the paint down to the raw wood. It looks like it's been painted a couple times, so it's gone through a couple layers of paint in some areas to get there. And it just has an overall really nice look, so I wanna save that. I think the plan is to pop the top off, and then I'm going to move the two sections closer together, and I'm gonna trim three inches off of each side of the front drawer and remake this entire drawer so that it fits in the new space. Give everything a good cleaning, repair any of the drawers that have the bottoms fallen off of it. My plan for this is to do as little as possible to make it look exactly the same, just six inches narrower. with the backs off, the drawers out, everything vacuumed, and it flipped over on its top, I can reveal to you the most hated fastener in the world. The trusty flathead flathead. The most despised fastener in the world. Luckily for me, there's only 12 of these holding the top on. So let's zoom out, get framed, and take this apart. Ugh. Ugh. Just. I'm sure everybody can appreciate the sentiment and my next thought. But as my head was stuck between the two panels, I got the whiff of what reminded me of my grandmother's house, which I later found out that smell was this old, musky, and deteriorating furniture. <laughs> We have a bench top that is ready to be cut down. And before I do that, the last thing I want to do is figure out how to get these two halves apart.
right, let's get you caught up with what I've done so far. I've had to add a runner on the opposite side of one of the bottoms because it was missing. And I also added these little fillers on both sides of all three layers so that it would help guide the drawer in so they wouldn't get cocked at an angle. I've also added these two braces along the back to square everything up without having the back on. That way the drawers go in a lot easier. And I did that all to this one as well. I've also cut the top down to 32 inches. You can see both of them sitting on it while it's upside down and they are right side up. And you can see how wide the new drawer in the middle needs to be. So I'm going to screw the bases back to the top, figure out those locations, and then figure out all of the parts in between to hold the new middle drawer.
After the center drawer finished drawing, I flipped the table back over, put all of the drawers back in, and moved it to its final location here in the work office. It is now ready for me to put my hat and my sunglasses and other bits and bobs in, ready to put to good use. This ended up being a really great first rehab project, probably a little bit more advanced than most people's <laughs> first rehab projects, but um, I had a blast doing it and I'm really happy with the results. So I think that's going to be it for this one. I hope you enjoyed the project. If you have any comments or questions, leave them down below. I really do enjoy reading them and answering any questions that you all have. I think that'll be it for this one, and I will see you next week. Bye.